Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord, is King. He reigns forever. Today we give him the praise. We give him the glory. We give him the adoration. He deserves it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for a new day, a new opportunity to uh, have another day, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the almighty God. I hope you had uh, a, a great night and we bless the name of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus name, amen and amen. Well, today we have another day. And the question is, what is the Lord telling us today? What is the word the Lord has for us today? Today, briefly, I just want to, to share with you the mystery of spiritual garments. The mystery of spiritual garments. There is a reality and I would like you and I to understand in the spirit. The reality is this. The same way we have physical raiments or garments, there are also spiritual garments. Please, I pray that you will understand it very well today. Now, the garment you wear in the spiritual realm, please understand that it has an impact in the physical. That's one I want, I would like you to understand it very and very well. For example, when we read the story of Esther, we see the Bible saying, after fasting and praying, the Bible says Esther put on the royal garment. That's one we read it in the book of Esther, chapter 5, and verse 1 to 2. Esther 5, 1 to 2. Now, when you read this text, that is something I, I, I find it very amazing. The moment Esther appeared before the king, I don't know what happened. It's like the king has never seen this woman. And please understand, when we call for fasting and prayer, it's not because we want to embarrass or, you know, to put a burden on people. It is for the renewal of our spiritual garment because the moment Esther finished fasting and praying, it's like she has put another garment on her. The garment of grace. 
receive the garment of grace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you not noticed? There are some people, it's like they have put on them a garment of rejection. I'm telling you the truth. Everywhere they go, they are rejected. They go here, they are rejected. They go there, they are rejected. Nobody wants you. Nobody is ready to accept you. You struggle to interact with some other people. When they, you, Please! Okay, I don't know how I can explain it to you, but those are spiritual realities. I have a testimony of a lady. Uh, we were just talking with her one day. I just... Uh, saw her and i i just put my hand on her face i say in the name of jesus christ any garment on your face i destroy it and i went and she asked me daddy why did you pray about it? I said, no 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 i mean there was something on your face i had to pray about it after praying you know what happened? This woman was struggling to be to attract the right man. After I think two or three months, a man came to marry her. How can you explain that? I don't know. I don't know because those are spiritual things. And you can be walking and you don't know maybe there is something on your face that is attracting bad things or is uh, 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 making others to reject you. Now, in the name of Jesus, no more rejection in your life. Anything the devil has ever put on your face I destroy it right now in the name of the Lord. You can see somebody that just doesn't like your face. You wonder what is happening. Glory be to God. I pray for those who are not yet married or those who are expecting marriage or, or those who are in business. So, so I pray that your face, the grace of God will be upon your face now and today the grace of god on your face it's not just about the makeup it's not just about the lipstick it's not just about uh any body lotion you need the grace of god since i have understood that truth i've never seen me going somewhere and not being welcome i've never seen it since i have understood the reality every day every morning you pray pray for the grace of god upon your face in the name of jesus you wake up in the morning pray that oh god everywhere i will go my face will shine in the name of jesus christ my face will shine the enemy will never put anything on my face to make me to be rejected to cause rejection in me father in the name of jesus as i'm going to work i put on the garment of grace so you see you so, so that is your problem you just wake up in the morning you just uh, uh put your your physical remnant you, you make uh, whatever on your face you 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 should learn to put the garment every day the same way you put your your clothes every day those clothes I'm talking about, you should put them every day. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. The Bible says what? The Bible says, goodness and mercy shall do what? Shall follow me. Now, the question is this. What will make goodness and mercy to follow you? When you put the garment of goodness, the garment of mercy. Hallelujah. So we are closing our fast today. At the end of this fast, you are receiving a new garment in your life. A new garment. 
That is why I wanted to let you know there is a mystery in the garment. You can be physically clothed, but spiritually you are naked. Spiritually you are naked. I'm, you know, I'm so excited. I had a testimony of one of us this week. It was like, oh my goodness. I mean, I saw something. This woman being fought, fought at the place of work, fought, fought. <laughs> I say you need a spiritual covering. You know, sometimes people are just walking. You are not spiritually covered. You are just naked. Hallelujah. And you know, this woman had trouble at a place of work. People just wanted her to be out. I thank God. We spoke a word. Pastor, you know, my name was removed from the payroll. I'm not paid. I don't know. I said, oh, you just come, come down. We, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who have removed your name on the payroll, I give them command now, now, now. They have to put back your name. Now, not tomorrow. <laughs> oh, me. Now, I pray that you at the place of work, at the, you know, business, whatever, in your family, at your house, nobody will see you around like you are not covered. I pray, be covered spiritually. Be covered. Be covered spiritually. Be covered spiritually. Don't just have the physical cloth. You need the spiritual covering as well. That is what I'm talking about. The mystery of spiritual remnants. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, let me give you a simple example. Maybe it will help you to understand what I'm talking about. You see, for example, a policeman or a policewoman, she can be your friend, your best friend. But the moment she put on the garment of a police, when she stands on the highway, <laughs> No matter your friendship, the moment she stands on the highway, she can stop even those tracks. She can stop them. She can be so tiny or small, I don't know, whatever size, but the garment she put on will oblige you to stop. Now, I pray today, as we are praying, as we are fasting, I pray that you will have a the garment of authority. The garment of authority. The garment of Christ. You know, when you speak to the devil, devil, stop there. He stops. I have seen it in my ministry. I have seen it in my life. Devil, stop your nonsense. Ooh. He stops. It's not because of the cloth I have put on this one. No, 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 no. It is the spiritual cloth of authority. Receive it today in the name of Jesus Christ. I say receive it today in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to close today and I want just to show you for example when you read for example in the book of First Samuel chapter 17 verse 38, the Bible gives me a story, a, a story of, 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 of soul what does the Bible say? Saul took his garment and put it on, on David. And that one was before David goes to fight Goliath. Do you know what happened? The Bible said, can you imagine? Imagine, please, Tafadali, imagine. Imagine my size, okay? My size, Pastor Kasuko. I take my garment... I give it to, 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 to Honan, my last born, who is uh, today uh, nine years old. You just take that garment, you give it to, to Honan or to Fefa, and you, you tell him, go to class, go to school. 
That is the garment of mockery. I like what David David did. What did David did when you read now verse 39? Verse 39 of the same uh, uh, chapter. Verse 39, the Bible says, he removed the garment of mockery. Now, I'm closing and I want you today, my friend, remove the garment of mockery of the devil on you. There are some garments the devil put on us so that people will mock us. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no more mockery on your life. No more. I pray you will never be mocked again. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, some situations happen in our life. You are in a relationship. It never worked. You are somewhere. It never worked. Now, the enemy now is using it to put it on you so that people will see you will start mocking you. I say those things must stop now. I pray for God to restore whatever the devil has torn apart in your life. I pray that in the name of Jesus, those who are married, I will not listen here that you are widow at your young age. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, as God will bless you for a good marriage, a good husband, a good wife. I mean, for a job, you will not come up to a place where you are again ashamed. And now, no more shame in your life. And you know what David did? When Saul puts that garment on him, the Bible says he took it off. He took it off. Hallelujah. There is a garment you have to take off now. There is a garment you have to take off now. For you to take now the new garment, the garment of blessing, the garment of praise, the garment of whatever garment God has want you to, to put on you. Now, receive it now. We are closing there. Oh, the time has already passed, but I want you to pray. Just pray now. Every garment coming from Saul to make me as an object of mockery of people. You know, some people can come in your life. They are coming in your life just to, to torment you for nothing. To show that, you know, we are in, in a relationship, relationship, relationship. And now he is sent by the devil to do what? To shame you. I say those kind of people around your life. I'm standing as a man of God. Those people must live your life forever. Father, cast away those people around my people. Cast away those wrong people who come not because they want you to, to, I mean, for marriage, for example, just to make you a subject of mockery. Those are the garment of Saul. And the Bible says what? David removed that garment. Can you pray? I'm closing today. Just pray. I don't know what can be your prayer. You just go before the Lord and tell God, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I'm going to work, pray for yourself. The anointing oil we have given to you, it is not just for uh, when you are sick. No, you can put a little. You pray, Father, today I'm putting the garment, the oil of joy, the garment of power, the garment of authority. As I'm going to work in the name of Jesus, I will go to the bank. I will go to see people. I will go to the immigration. I will go for visa. I will go for whatever. Father, let goodness and mercy follow me. When will it follow you? When I put the garment, the garment of praise, the garment of not the garment of worry. Oh, Father, today, remove the garment of mockery on me. No more garment of mockery on me. People who look at me will see the glory of God. People who look at me will see the glory of God. Will not see mockery again. I will not look like I am a subject of mockery. In the name of Jesus Christ, the, the cloth the enemy is forcing me to put on. I remove it today. I remove it today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am not forsaken. I am blessed of the Lord. Father, I take the garment of praise today, the garment of grace. As I'm going to work, no 
no devil will torment me at my place of work. As I'm going for business, no devil will torment me in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I put on Christ. I put on Jesus. Jesus is my cloth. Jesus is my garment. Today, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, I will not have a look of a poor person. I will not look like I am miserable. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why I encourage you yourself. You must, you know, every day you must look smart. Oh, glory to God. Look smart every day. Look smart every day. I pray for you. Never look miserable. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the garment you put determine the things you attract in your life. Determine the people you attract around you. You put uh, the, those sexy things, you are attracting immorality. You are attracting sometimes bad things around you. But when you put on the garment of honor, the garment of, of, of praise, of favor on you, the Lord, you will be attracting the right people. I want to speak prophetically to somebody. Today I pray you will never attract wrong people again in your life. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited by the anointing of God this morning. You will never attract wrong people again in your life. You are single. You should not be attracting married people around you. Why? It means something is wrong with your garment. Father, today I will attract the right people, the right man. Oh, God Almighty, that is your plan for me. Me, I am married today. How can I be attracting women around me? Something must be wrong. My, my status is an identity. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I pray you will attract promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray you will attract financial favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you now as we are closing. Every time the board of the leaders, of the people where you are working, anytime they sit together, they want to send somebody for a mission, it will be you who will be mentioned. It, it will be you who will be called for. I speak prophetically over you in the name of Jesus. Where people gather for evil, they will not mention you there in the name of the Lord. Anytime people are thinking of good, they will think of you. I Let me say that again. Anywhere people will think for something good, they will think of you. Because today, you are putting the garments of favor, the garment of grace on you. Now, I bless you today. Go to work. Put on the garment I'm speaking about today of, of praise, of favor, of blessing. Wherever you go, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, God bless you. Any garment of death, I remove it from you right now. Receive the garment of life. 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 Garment of life on you now. Garment of life on you right now. When death will see you, it will pass away. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. God bless you. And you know how I love you people. We meet tomorrow by the grace of God. To close our week. Sunday, we are in church for those who are in Nairobi. And the Lord will do us great things. We are closing our fast today at 6 p.m. And I know somebody will have a testimony to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Good day to you and God bless you.